with a force. Yes, blessing to your reaper with poison and food. Who oh, in a rise and boast? Yeah, we give thanks like we need it the most. We have to give thanks like we really supposed to be thankful. Blessing to all for me. Welcome and welcome back to the channel. My name is Fego and I do lifestyle fashion and PC content. So in today's video, we're going to be doing a 2023 reset routine. My year hasn't started. I don't even want to believe that my year is going to start in February, but the way it's looking, I'm, it will actually have started February. But I'm going to try and put myself in a position that I'm good to actually go, like, hit the ground running once February comes. So I was trying to get my life together. When I am back to Nigeria, I was off my everything. I didn't go... To the gym i didn't eat well i didn't i just wasn't doing things that were aligning with my future and what i see myself doing in the future so in this video i'm just going to try and um clean up i think you already saw a montage before but just clean up get my space right get my eating right get my fitness back to where it was before and just focus on this year because i plan on doing so much this year so that's what i've been doing so today it's actually going to be a research routine but throughout like saturday and sunday so saturday i just cleaned and just got the house tidy and all that so today is sunday i woke up at 7 a.m went to the gym and then i also went to church that's another thing that is um one of my goals for the new year so i went to church and then i went grocery shopping because i didn't have any groceries so i then ha went grocery shopping and that's literally all i've done today so now it's going to be like as i was saying so now i'm just going to prepare to make a lunch and then i'm going to put my groceries in the fridge and then i'm going to come back here and i'm going to like do my goal setting and vision boarding with you with you guys so like you can see like what where my head's at and just maybe it might inspire someone to actually kick start there yeah february is not too late it's still an amazing time to start it doesn't really matter if you didn't start on the first of january but let's get going I got chicken wings because like I need protein I just want to get a protein shake because I think I need more protein in my diet then I got red bell peppers I got sweet corn I love sweet corn I got some potatoes it's one of my faves I got rice I really wanted basmati rice but there was no basmati rice then I got diced beef because I want to make um, like beef black bean sauce tonight kind of then I got a Caesar salad. This is the only salad I would actually eat. And then I got light soy sauce. So it wasn't anything serious because I still have some things from Nigeria. So yeah. Now for lunch, I'm going to make it's just just doesn't make sense that I'm this fresh food. I'm going to make indomie. I can't like I just feel like it's indomie, something hot and some like eggs. So that's what I'm gonna make for lunch now. So I'll talk to you guys when I'm eating and then do my vision board. guys so i'm going to take you through my vision board so i don't know this is the best setup i can do for you right now I'll try and zoom in a bit more but this is what my first vision board looks like so this is just an overall one of the year so just what i want to do this year in general so it has like reading fitness career taking care of my natural hair taking care of my uh skincare um gratitude learning more about finances um treating myself christianity growing in my faith 
um, what else? Eating healthy, going on trips, being around my friends, learning pull-ups. So like I have lots of things here. So this is the one for the year. So this is what it looks like. And I did it on Canva so that I'll be able to um, put it on my phone. So I did like A4 paper so that I can put on my wallpaper on my phone. I'll show you what it looks like on my phone. Then this is the first month. My year is starting in February, let me be honest. So I don't know if you can read this, but it says Christianity and wellness. So that's what I'm focusing on on like in february so it just has a bunch of things like i'm disciplined enough to make choices that will better me tomorrow that's this quote right here so i have lots of quotes lots of um lots of um visual cues you know food so just christianity and wellness in general so that's going to the gym eating better drinking water and all that then in March, it's going to be finances. So I want to read more about finances. I want to learn about investments. I want to budget. I want to do lots of things. So I also want to, you know, save. So that is what this is about. I don't want to just do it. I want to read about it. I want to learn more about finance. Um, in April, I want to focus on content creation. I want to act like it is my full-time job. I want to see where that takes me. I was focused on content creation and thinking outside the box on my creativity, any form of social media. I want to do that in is that April. Then in May, I really want to learn French. So I'm going to focus. I'm going to focus on French throughout the year. But on, in this month specifically, I'm going to gear towards learning French more and doing it actively every single day so that I can see improvements. And then in June is going to be gratitude and reflection. So in June, I just, it's the middle of the year. I think that's the perfect time, that's the perfect time to actually reflect and show gratitude for where you've come. And I can then go ahead and see what I've done so far, what I still want to do for the rest of the six months of the year. So that's where I stop. So that at this point in time, what is gratitude and reflection? I'll do the remaining six months of the year and see what I want to improve on, what I want to do and how I feel like I'm progressing moving forward. So I'll show you guys what my vision board looks like. So I'm going to also show you what it looks like on my phone. So I'm going to show you why I did it on Canva. So I did it on Canva and I'm going to show you why I did it on Canva. Just so you can have an idea of why, of what it looks like on my screen. So I'm just just try and put it as use wallpaper. It's loading. Oh wow. And it looks really nice, aesthetically pleasing. So let's do that. So if you look at my screen right now, my screen is actually the one for the year so this is what it looks like oh hold on so that is what it looks like this is the one for the year you can literally see everything why does my phone keep going up you can literally see everything that is the one for the year so it's more about you know everything there and then the next one because you know you can do that change of screen or whatever wallpaper is the one for the is the one for the month of february so that is wellness and christianity so that's what it looks like so even though i've done vision boards i still think it's very important to put down goals that align with or, or give you smaller steps as to how to achieve those goals so for me because it's christianity and wellness let's say in the month of February, I'm going to write down, I want to go to church every weekend or every Sunday. I want to spend this amount of time with God every day. I want to eat um, three meals a day and I want one of those meals to be a protein shake and a, and, and a salad or something. I want to go to the gym. I'm looking at my lips so much. I want to go to the gym five times a week. Those are the kind of goals I'm going to write down just so that they're more specific. As I was saying, so those are the kind of goals I'm going to write down in order to actually align myself with the goals on my vision board so that is what i'm about to do and then i'll get back to you later bye so another thing i was going to say is that okay i'm done writing my goals i think the vision board for the year is good i know but i think i, I saw a tiktok so i'll put a tiktok down below that's the person that inspired me to actually say okay this actually makes more sense to me so vision board for the year is very broad and very you know it's just broad so i feel like in the sense of breaking it down into specific sectors of your life it makes it easier it makes it because it form 21 days form a habit so if you do something or do like four goals or four sets of goals for 
for 21 days you're going to form a habit and then at the end of the day, of the year you're going to have 12 new habits that you've inculcated into your everyday life and the thing about habits is that when you do one in february it's going to move over to march april may so at the end of the year you're going to have a full rounded um personal development you're going to be fully developed or what you want to do and that makes so much sense to me so that makes so much sense to me because at the end of the day i'm trying to be the best version of myself i can be so that is it then the last thing i'm going to do so i've written out my goals i've done my vision board the last thing i'm going to do is budgeting personally my budget um in 2022 still makes sense so i'm just going to carry it over to now i'm just going to adjust the figures a bit just because i want to be more savvy or I want to be more prudent with my money i'm also on a shopping ban because last month in as much as i did budget i could have saved way or last year i could have saved way more as i was saying so last year i could have saved way more money but i bought so many things and i was just shopping excessively and over consumption and things like that so for the for the year of 20 or for 2023 i am not going to shop from january to april i did it last year as well i feel like it puts me in a right mind frame and reduces the amount of spending i actually do so i will not be buying clothes i will not be buying shoes i will not buy anything even skincare i'll keep it very limited i will only buy skincare if all my skincare is done like and maybe it's affecting my skin well not affecting my skin but like if my product is actually gone not that oh my god i just want to test out a new product maybe my skin will be better i'm not doing that i'm going to stick to my routine because my routine is working for me at the moment and that's what i'm going to do another thing that i'm going to I'm, i also want to stop uh ordering food so that's something that well, that's one of my goals so with my no spend as well i want to reduce them i'm not going to say i'm not going to buy, um, order food at all but like i really want to reduce the amount of money i spent on eating um delivery like it's just ridiculous and then what else i think that those are the main things so i just want to reduce my spending so from january to april i will not be shopping also me saying i won't be shopping doesn't mean i won't buy groceries of course i'll buy food i'll just buy the essentials i'll buy literally the essentials i just would not buy things i don't really need and the only exception for this for the next four months is my birthday so i'm going to buy my birthday outfit and maybe a wig but apart from that i don't want to buy clothes i want to work with what's in my wardrobe as much as possible hopefully that's possible but that is my like thing for the next four months so i'm just going to do my budget and all that and in my budget i'm just going to because i'm not spending that really reduces the amount of money you know that goes towards that kind of expense so literally my shopping budget is zero so that's good like i can save the money and i think i just even saw a quote i think it was spend save what save don't save don't save after you spend save save before you spend you know so the leftovers of you do, you're not going to save the leftovers of what you spend but rather save first and then spend after which makes so much sense because i'll be like oh i'm going to save i'm going to save i'm going to save and then at the end of the day i'm only going to save what's left which doesn't make sense like at the end of the day i have saving goals so that's really important i also want to learn how i also want to invest this year so i want to read more about investments i want to put my money somewhere i don't just want to put it in like a normal account or like a savings account i feel like there's so much more your money can do for you and i need to learn more about that i did do it in uni i know that but i think for practical like i need to actually do it practically and say i mean putting it off to saying i'll invest one day i invest it, but i actually to invest so i'm just going to look at my budget i have like just things my budget just just I'm just going to run through them so i have like expenses so i have living costs which is rent food phone bill all that travel costs which is public transportation and uber i want to reduce using uber for god's sake um personal costs to be like gym gym care subscriptions skincare hair care eating out which i also want to reduce delivery zero uh leisure i don't really mind clothing zero shoes zero subscriptions will stay the same because i don't really have that many my subscription is less than 20 pounds like i don't do subscriptions like that as i was saying look at your subscriptions very well because that's where people you know all these free for 14 days and then all that also if you want to like i also want to do a lot of gym classes so i'm looking into doing class pass so that the money i spent isn't as much because i do have a gym subscription and then i want to go for classes so i'm looking for the best way to use my money but class pass they're having one month free if you're just joining or like just one month free in general for anyone so class pass you can literally go to any class like one rebel um 
what's it called berries anything yoga pilates if you want to try that class honestly download class pass because they're having one month free i can go for the class for free just try it out so subscription splurge i don't really think i want to splurge that much maybe just my birthday present and then personal care and then you have business cost so cost i incur when i do my content creation and things like that so that's equipment styling tools lights going for events those are like my business cost and then savings i have short-term saving goals and long-term saving goals so short-term would be like i was going to trip this year or but long-term saving goals would be you know various things and i want savings and investments savings and investments i'm usually not writing anything down there look savings i have but investments i haven't because i've invested so that's terrible so those are like my goals or my budgets and all that for 2023 so even though my year starts in february i think 2023 or hopefully is going to be a good year by the grace of god so that's what my 2023 is looking like so that's what my 2023 that's how i'm planning for my 2023 so i think i'm done with the like admin part of it and i cleaned my house so that's really all honestly when it comes to 2023 i went to the gym this morning i want to eat better maybe i'll no maybe i'm going to cook this evening and yeah that's really the vlog i don't think there's anything i just wanted to talk to you guys just show you how i'm preparing for my 2023 and i hope this inspires somebody or like you get up and you know do something that makes you feel better or like develop yourself in any way this year so i think the last thing i'm just going to do is maybe i'll show you my skincare at the end of this video but yeah that's really all there's nothing really much to say but that's it so i think the rest of this vlog will be just me showing you my skincare and showing you my dinner but i hope you enjoyed the vlog so far make sure you like share comment subscribe people aren't subscribing please subscribe we're trying to do 2k by my birthday which is 27th of february so if you're enjoying the content see you in the next clip bye so i'm going to end this video off with doing my nighttime skincare routine this is just one of my routines and let me just off this is also one of my routines i've actually done a face mask but i need good recommendations for face masks i think this year i want to do more face masks so I'm going to start off with my oats cleansing balm because I wore sunscreen today and all that. I am going to I need to soon I I need to um what's the word called? I need to cut this. I'm not the only one that cuts my skincare because I know that there's more. So I'm going to go in with my my oats cleansing balm. Give me a second. So this is going to be my first cleanse because I wore sunscreen. I'm going to do a skincare video so that I'm going to transform my skin. It will be like a little dark marks and things. Well, this is what I'm doing first. After my first cleanse, I'm going to go in with my Bioma, um, what's this? Bioma Creamy Jelly Cleanser. That's what I'm going to go in with next. Next, I'm going to use my Ren um, AHA Ready Glow Tonic. I only started using this like a month ago, so I couldn't even tell if it's really good, but it seems okay i used to use the Paula's choice one one is an AHA, one is a bh i don't didn't think i don't think i should re up on that one yet because i don't want to use i don't think there's a need for two chemical exfoliants and my skin keratin so i'm just going to go ahead the back of my ears my neck all that my chin yeah after that i'm going to go in with these two hydrating um ingredients i'm going to go in my snail mucin and my bioma hydrating serum which has glycerin and squalene i think so these are the two i'm going to combine together for the hydration of my skincare routine after that i'm going to use the only active i use in my skincare oh apart from my toner but the only leave-in active i use in the night from now on i use gem tretinoin but at this moment, I'm only going to be using this for like the next one month just to see how much it fades my mark. So this is the faded from Topicals. I've heard good things about it. So I used it for like some time, but I wasn't really just with using it. But the smell is honestly horrible, but it gets the job done, so I can't. I don't mind the smell. Yeah. Then last, I'm going to go with my Walida, I think that's what it's called, Skin Foods. I really like this. I used to use the La Roche-Posay Sica Plasma Balm, which is still very good. But I'm just using this right now and I've been really enjoying this. It does have fragrance and all that, but it doesn't irritate my skin. So I don't really mind. But that's the last part of my routine. My lashes are all together, so I'm rushing.
So that's the end of my routine and that's the end of my 2023 reset routine. Tomorrow is Monday. I hope to start the week off right, go to the gym and all that. So maybe I'll do a weekly vlog after this. I'll just see how I'm feeling. But I hope this inspired someone and I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, share, comment and subscribe. See you in my next video. Bye.